In this video, we'll cover how to import tags from an RS Logix 5000 or RS Logix 500 application. In your RS Logix 5000 application, select Tools, Export, Tag, and Logic Comments. You can now export the tag data out to a CSV file, and that we can use to import that tag information into OPC systems. RS Logix has a number of built-in structured data types, and OPC systems can help you with importing those structured data types. We have predefined 124 of the existing RS Logix structured data types, and we have an editor so that you can add your own user-defined data types and any additional structured data types that you would like. In RS Logix 500, select Tools, Database, and ASCII Export. This will bring up the Document Database ASCII Export routine, and you can just select OK, and we will be using the EAS file from the export. Once you've exported your files, we can now import them into OPC Systems tags. So we have the Configuration tool for OPC Systems open, and we've selected Configure Tags. I'm starting with a blank group here, and we'll add a group to import our RS Logix 5000 tags in. So I'll give a, a group name of Logix 5000, and select OK. Now we have our group. We can go over and select One Click Import. I'm going to select Import Allen Bradley Tags, and that's going to bring up our tag reader. We can select our data source of AB Logics or AB Classics. For this, let's grab the AB Logics file. We'll select the Load Logics 5000 CSV file, and we'll browse to that file and open it up. And that will read that tag information in and then convert it over to OPC Systems tags from the tag structures in the Logix 5000. Now we can set up a poll rate and pick our driver interface, which we've already created in OPC Systems under Configure Drivers. One thing to note is that you can have multiple drivers in OPC Systems for one device. That may increase your throughput. Another option is to adjust the overhead time slice in your Logix 5000 application. So you can select the processor in Logix 5000 and select the advanced tag and you can adjust the overhead time slice from there. By default that's set at 20%. Now we have read in our file, we can organize them, we can sort them by tag name if we like, or by data type or address any number of the variables here we can sort them by and we can pick one or more of the tags that we want to import into OPC systems. You'll see that we have actually here 3,655 tags that we've imported from our RS Logix 5000 application. So we can add all the tags or we can add selected tags. Let's select a group of tags. By the way, you can also delete unwanted tags in this uh, interface if you want just by selecting them and pressing the delete key. Let's add all of our alarm information in here and select add selected tags. This will bring up a browser where we can expand our OPC systems tree group and pick the group that we want to add them to. I'll select OK, and that's going to import those tags into OPC Systems. You'll see the successfully added tag. I'll select OK, and let's go back to our OPC Systems configuration, and we'll just expand that group. There's all the items under Alarm, with all their variable types, all configured for us. From here, we can add alarm information to that or define any one of them as a trend point. We could assign them to various alarm groups. Here's an analog alarm, and we can see all the various properties of that alarm here have been defined for us, and their data types have already been set up. There's a digital alarm, and we'll see all the types here being imported. Now that handles the RS Logix 5000, but there's one other thing that we can do from here. We can select our structured tag editor, and this will allow us to define additional structured tags if we like, or to turn on or off any of the structured tags or the elements. So let's say in this access virtual here, there's a number of items there. Maybe we only want uh, certain ones, so we can uncheck them here. Any import program will ignore any of these that we uncheck. We could also uncheck uh, access virtual and then we will ignore any tags that are defined as that. And then once you're done defining that, you can save your changes here. 
We could also add additional profiles if we want. Let's turn these back on. We could go down to the bottom here and create a new profile that exists in our Allen Bradley Logics program. So let's say we have a user defined data type here and we'll call that device in our RS Logics 5000 application. We can add that here and then start adding the various elements to that user defined data type. Let's uh, Let's add a few here. Let's give it a name and we'll pick a data type there, a string. And you can also select whether you want to import. And let's give it another one. Call that device ID and a double integer. And one more. Let's give it a value. And let's say that's a real. And we're all set. Now when we save our file, we can add that to our application so that when we read in an RS Logics 5000 program, anything in there that has a data type of device will follow these. Create the device for you in OPC systems and all of the elements. Back over to our tag import, let's import an RS Logics 500 application. And I'll select Load Logics 500 EAS file. And we'll pick that MicroLogix file there. And again, we have the same options here. We want to pick our driver interface and set our poll rate. And now again, we can import any or all of the tags that we've selected. Let's go back to OPC Systems for just a minute. And let's add a new group. Call that group Micro. We'll select OK. And now let's go back to our import routine. We have our tags that we want to import. Let's add selected tags and come over and select our Micro group. And we've now added all the tags for that. Back over to OPC Systems, and we can now see that those tags have been added into our OPC Systems tag configuration. That concludes this video for the import of RS Logics 5000 and RS Logics 500 tags into OPC Systems.